Hey guys, um, welcome back. In this video, I want to cover a topic um, about taking a, a mesh, uh, exporting it from Unreal Engine, and then taking it back, uh, or doing some modifications to it uh, in Blender, and then uh, taking it back again. Uh, and the reason for this is uh, I had some issues with it initially, uh, which I found a solution for, and then um, basically I just want to cover my solution to this. And if you happen to know a better uh, solution, uh, feel free to post uh, in your comments. Um, so anyway, um, what we can see here is um, uh, I have error coloring enabled, and you can see all these brown areas um, for, I think this is STEM2, and this, this is for a, a crane piece I'm working on, by the way. And then we have a piece one here, which also has a bunch of uh, overlapping UVs. Um, to begin with, I actually want to mention that for STEM2, I just uh, realized that in this case, it was much more easy to fix because it just realized that uh, if we open up the, the mesh itself, we can see uh, on the light map coordinate index, it's actually pointing to zero. So in this case, it's pointing to the wrong uh, UV map, um, which is the light UV map. Um, that should take care of that at least. And for STEM1, um, which looks similar as you can see, um, it does not go away. Uh, it is, uh, in this case, it is actually using, uh, where is it? Uh, light map coordinate index. It is actually using the correct uh, light, um, light map index. But I think what happens is that when you have so many small pieces, uh, some of the small uh, islands here, they will become so tiny that it will get detected as uh, an overlapping something. And that's, uh, that is where this error comes from. Um, so sometimes you can actually work around this just by upping the minimum uh, light map resolution here, uh, and then just applying the changes here. Just pay attention to how much um, padding there will be in between each island. Uh, because if you don't have sufficient uh, padding uh, enough, it, it, then you will get some uh, lighting artifacts when you build light, uh, which can be countered if you up the uh, the light map resolution as well. Uh, but that's a different story. Anyway, so this will actually probably fix most of it. Um, but nevertheless, I just wanted to mention still um, a few things um, or about the workflow of going uh, taking this uh, piece here out and then uh, doing this stuff inside uh, Blender. I have Blender here and uh, I'm going to import this piece here. Um, I'm going to take STEM2 here. Uh, so what we have when we import this is uh, from uh, Unreal Engine is that you will have the, the base mesh and then you will have one object for the entire complex uh, collision as you can see here um, hang on a sec let me just turn on screencast uh, okay right so I'm gonna move the collision piece here I'm gonna move that to layer 2 uh, just because it's a little bit easier to work with them and then uh, inside here we can if we go into edit mode uh, and select uh, one uh, edge for example and control L You'll see it only selects one, this quad here. Um, so that is probably because the exporter uh, exports a lot of um, duplicate uh, vertices. As you, you can see when I select um, a bird here, uh, it doesn't highlight the entire thing. So that actually, um, um, oops, shit. Uh, as you can see, when I move this, it's only moving part of it, so they are actually not connected. So what you want to do uh, here is to make sure that you remove doubles uh, by going to Tools here, Remove Doubles, and you might have to up this just a tiny bit, otherwise we will still get um, doubles. Um, I, I, at least I've seen if I don't do this. Uh, just up it a little bit, uh, I might still uh, end up with some um, some pieces that are still separate. So you can verify this by selecting just some random uh, areas and Control L to see if you get a, a 
complete um, collision primitive selected. So anyway, once that is done, you want to rename this to underscore zero zero one, um, and this will help the importer know that this is uh, piece one. And luckily for us, uh, once we then select everything, press P and select loose parts. Uh, this naming convention is actually picked up as valid names for each of the separate uh, collision primitives. Uh, so that will actually work. Um, so that was um, the collisions. If you go back to the, the piece itself, and let's say we just, in this case, we could be doing something like uh, adding more geometry to this or making some changes, adding whatever. Uh, but in this case, I just wanted to, to tamper a little bit with the light UV. So we drag out a new window, go to the light UV, and go to edit mode. And in here, we are on uh, UV map uh, one. So go to the little triangle here and go to the UV light map. And um, what usually does work pretty well is to just uh, smart UV project just with the default settings. Uh, select everything and then control P. And you might have to do it a few times until you get something that looks a little bit more uh, optimal. And if that doesn't really work, you can like add a little bit uh, extra margin uh, and then see if that gives a better result. In this case, I'm not to worry about these blank areas down here. It's obviously a, a bit of waste of t uh, space, but it's okay. Um, anyway, so once that's done, export it again. And um, as you can see, um, it actually says we still have some overlapping uh, UVs here. So this is on stem two. This is the one that we just um, modified a little bit. Um, so I'm going to import that piece here that we just made. You want to make sure that you also generate collision is off. And you want to make sure that generate light map UVs is off. Um, at least if you exported it first um, and then we import it, you don't need to generate new light UVs. Uh, and you want to make sure that you have one convex hull per UCX checked. Otherwise, it will only import the first UCX, you see. Um, and I think import normals is what I usually go with. So import. And just ignore this one. Uh, so if you go to simple collision and you want to uh, verify that your collisions has been imported as it should, which is kind of uh, one of the more important things. And uh, you also want to get the material back. So this is what I usually do, just like that. And then we have our object updated. And then also we want to make sure that the light map coordinate index is set to one, because that is why we have our light UV maps. So save this and um, Right, you, uh, in this case, I'm in the materials folder. If uh, I have a lot of uh, assets on my in my world, uh, it is, you know, you can right click it, say browse to asset, and that's gonna take you to this folder. But in case you are not, um, on, well, you get tired of using the mouse too much, uh, you can control B, get into the habit of using that shortcut. It's a really nice um, time saver, I would say. And then select your stem B here and replace like that. And then we can rebuild. I think this should give no warnings now, hopefully. Um, it's just gonna take a few minutes. By the way, for you guys um, that have been following my channel, and uh, you will know that I've been working on this uh, game, uh, Tall Order, it is still uh, in development. I just got um, uh, tied down by a lot of other stuff and had to take care of that. But I actually started developing on it uh, actively again uh, since I think it was uh, last month or so. Um, 
So it's actually coming along pretty well now, and I hope to be able to show some more progress on of the game pretty soon. Uh, but I will not talk too much about it. Just drop a little um, teaser. Come on, dude. Build the fucking light. Come on, why is the last 1% always so slow? <laughs> there we go, finally. Okay. And I don't think either. I I think I actually maybe have closed the fucking window. Uh, the one that should show no errors. Output. Can I get it back again, please? Uh, window. Okay, so uh, update message log. There you go. Okay, so yeah, no errors and no warnings. So there we go. Great. Um, one final note to do these um, UCX editing um, things is actually um, if we join everything back again, if we join everything back again to one UCX uh, like this, um, and we do have to add something to for some reason let's say we needed to add something uh, like a, I have a, a, some kind of collider somewhere um, uh, could be this one I don't know. Um, what I mean by this is actually it's um, it's actually um, a pretty good workflow I think uh, to just do it as, as I do it here you collapse everything into one object again uh, so I'm not gonna worry too much about this uh, so this is obviously my fantastic um, uh, collision extra collision that will fit nicely with whatever <laughs> uh, I've been doing uh, not <laughs> anyway um, so let's say I added this one so I added, as you can see, inside the same uh, same um, object, and then you know, press P again, and then expand everything or uh, break everything apart again, and uh, that will that is just what I would do, I think, if I had to do this um, uh, with a, an object from the beginning. With I think actually what that's what I did with this um, when I created the piece, and I had to do all these collisions I added everything into one object and then I split it apart uh, using the separate by pieces uh, separate by loose parts anyway I hope you guys got something out of this uh, let me know if they come in the comments uh, if you find this useful uh, if you want me to cover a bit more about blender I'm by no means uh, an expert but I do enjoy uh, working in blender uh, I must say uh, and that is basically where I do all my modeling when I have to. Anyway, have a nice evening and see you in the next. <laughs>